Hey guys, welcome to my channel and in this video, I'm just going to show you that how I use one line on my terminal to make my really hard job a lot easier. And I think this is a really good example of, you know, how you can change some Unix programs together. So this will show the power of terminal. So I think I should make this video. So without wasting any more time, let's just get started. So when I started my internship, uh, they gave me this job, which I had to do for about like one month and it's on Google sheet. So this is the Google sheet. So what happened was they give me link every day and it's some Google sheet link. And on that sheet, particular sheet, when I open it, I found these school names. So these are the school names and on the right column here, what you're looking is the UIDs. So these are like unique IDs of these school name. And when I get this sheet these uids are not there so these are like blank nothing here and what i had to do is i had to look for these uids and then paste the uids here all right so now the question is where i'm going to find these uids so this is a lsq tab so this is like a database where the, they keep the record of every school so these are all the schools and on this b column you can see the uids so what i had to do is i had to copy the school name and then go to this lsq tab and press ctrl f and then you know find in sheet so ctrl v and after this it's going to take some time to fetch the results so as you can see i found you know five schools so if i you know scroll so these are the schools and then uh, i have to copy the uid and go back to my sheet and paste the uid okay so this is the procedure which i had to follow for all these school and i get around like 200 schools every day even these days they give me this job sometime and not just me we have like five or six more intern on this work so they do this work every day now this is cool but the problem with this way of doing this thing was that you know if i copy some school name and go to my lsq which is like the database and just paste the school name then first it's going to take some time to search and second sometimes not sometimes like 90 percent of time it's not going to show me the result because the search of google sheets is very you know very strict so you cannot even afford one spelling mistake you have to write things pretty accurate so this is not fuzzy searching this is very shitty searching and there is one more issue that you're looking at these school names and these school names are actually some form submission and these forms are are, you know submitted by some kids so and we all know that kids are stupid so you know kids write the name wrong so they misspell so there is high chances that i'm not going to find the school name here like this because this is not fuzzy searching this you have to be very accurate in this kind of searching so what interns do usually is they just remove you know extra words and they try to make it minimal so it's like more like keyword like searching okay and they for, for example here the spelling is wrong this should be k-a-n and then they found something so because of this way of searching this work took around like two hours every day and sometimes even three hours so when i got this job i was almost about to give up and you know want to quit but then i realized that no i can do this with some kind of program or something like this uh, what i did was first i downloaded this sheet as step separated value so in the dot tsv so it's like comma separated but instead of comma there is steps all right so after downloading it let me just you know copy this from uh, my home okay so this is the file and i can also rename this .esv. and now i can just use awk with minus f so minus f means that by default awk use spaces to separate stuff like columns but if you do minus f and then give it a character so then it's going to use that particular character which is in this case tabs all right so after this i just want to you know print what things i want to print but before this let me just show you this universe.tsv file because i think uh you should have known what this file is so this is the file and it's just same as this file but, I can, but these uh, columns are separated by tabs okay so get back to the talk program so now what i want is instead of getting all the crap all i need is the school name and the uid and the city because you know students also write city sometime so the uid is in the second column which is b so it's like two and this is c so three 
and the city is three four five six so the city is in sixth column so i can use awk to just print second okay so two and then i am going to separate this these entities with this symbol okay so let me just increase the font size and then three and six Okay. all right so if i press enter now it's going to give me the data which i want but look at this it's much cleaner so this is the city name this is the school name and in the first this is the particular uid so i just you know converted all this database into a nicer looking database and what i'm going to do next is i'm going to redirect this into universe.txt so this is like my database this is our text file and if i let me just show you and this is my database okay so now i'm going to use this database to search all the things which i had to search so this is the work which i get and suppose i want to search a particular school so first what i'm going to do is first i'm going to get this universe.txt so press enter and you know it's just going to dump whatever inside it and now i'm going to use fuzzy finder because fuzzy finder is a fuzzy way of searching and by using fuzzy finder i can search better in comparison to this lsq search so let me uh, you know try to search some schools so oak wood so as you can see i'm getting result much quicker in comparison to you know this lsq search also this is the fuzzy search so this is like a really nice search so this is why i like fuzzy finder and i'm getting my result but now i want to make my work more efficient so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pipe my output into cut program so cut minus t which is like for delimiter you know putting this delimiter because it's separated with this symbol so minus f1 is for field one and if i press enter now suppose i want to search oakwood school which is this school so if i press enter so now it's only giving me the uid and not anything else but you know when i was working on this i had to you know copy and paste so what i can do is i can use x clip minus selection and then c okay so th what this will do if i press enter and search o code again and if, if i press enter so now it's not uh, going to print anything because the result which is this uid is in my clipboard now so xlib is just you know putting the result in my clipboard so i can now you know paste this here and this is amazing now one more thing i can do this to make my thing more even usable which is this while loop so while true do all of this and then done so why i am doing this because this way i don't have to every time run this command so if i press enter so and just you know resize my window and put it on the first step make it small and put it here so now suppose i get the sheet and i had to do the work so suppose this school or any schools i can just type so as you can see i can search a bit faster and there are some more ad advantage of doing things like this is uh, first it's fuzzy searching which is good but the other advantage is that sometimes this kids write school names in short form so for example here rdjp and fuzzy finder is able to search even in abbreviation which is amazing because you can't do this way of searching from lsq and this is amazing by doing my job this way i save around like uh, one or two hours every day and i finish my work in just half an hour and i'm the most fastest in turn because of this also one main point that by default when they gave me this work it's a lot of use of mouse and i don't like using mouse but with this i don't have to use mouse i have a good typing speed so i can you know just do things with my keyboard which is amazing and you know it, this is why i just love unix and you know linux and all these programs